Hello, I'm going to read a book called When I Grow Up, and this is written by Al Yankovic, which is pretty cool for me because Al Yankovic ha is also known as Weird Al, and um, he is a musician who um, all of his songs are what we call parodies. Um, so a parody is um, kind of a joke on and using and he uses tunes of popular songs and he's made some really funny, um, clever songs. And um, so when I saw that he wrote a children's book, I was super excited because I know him and I grew up listening to his songs and they're funny and I haven't read this book yet because I want to read it with you guys for the first time. And I think we're, I'm hopefully, I'm hopeful that we're going to like it. So we will see. Okay. When I grow up. I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon. There in Miss Krupp's, there in Miss Krupp's class, and Thursday at noon, as I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject so special to me was when I grow up, what am I going to be? That's something I'd really been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let all the thoughts out. So when Miss Krupp said, "Who's ready to share?" You can guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both my hands just as high as they'd go, and I bounced up and down, and then what do you know? Well, Mrs. Krupp picked me, yes me, to go first. Oh, I was so happy, I thought I would burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration con concerning my choice for my future vocation. Vocation means job. <clears throat> esteemed friends and colleagues, and my dear Mrs. Krupp, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy for my hot cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni, sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna, surrounded by kumquats and candied pig's feet, topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops. Bon appetit. My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies au gratin. <laughs> my kitchen will be the most famous in France, so make reservations 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it, I'm certain you see. The world-renowned chef is what I'm going to be. That's very nice, Billy, sweet Miss Krupp said. Who wants to be next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold the phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats, because I'm just getting started. So maybe instead I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later, but working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do a, any stunt that I like. Holy moly, I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly. Then jump, I mean ooze through a huge ring of fire and crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire. Then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails. Or else maybe I'll be a lathe operator who makes hydraulic torque wrench, who makes the, t the hydraulic torch wrench collaborator. With fine, which fine tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade. That's directly beneath the radial sockets inside cooling systems on X-14 rockets. And since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? <laughs> so here's an idea, perhaps just for laughs, laughs, I might make my living by milking giraffes. It's oh so cliche to get milk from a cow. And I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. What, milking giraffes, Mrs. Krupp said? Oh, please. 
I countered, how else would we make giraffe cheese? Now don't interrupt me. I'm not really through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Because maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse or a rodeo clown, or a movie director, or maybe a professional pickle inspector, or a big sumo wrestler, or hedge fund investor, or smelly pit spit piss, or smelly pit stiffing deodorant tester. Ew. Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission, or else a foot model or friendly mortician, or waiter or skater or master debater, or dinosaur dusting music or, or dinosaur dusting museum curator, or TV repairman or sidewalk sign waiver, or part time assistant tarantula shaver. And that's about when Mrs. Cripp said, now, Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly. Which of those things are you going to choose? I shuffled around and I just looked at my shoes. And finally, I said, my great grandfather Bob's been a whole lot of things and a whole bunch of jobs, a butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone, a telephone psychic and a bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned 103 and he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. So I'm only eight. So frankly, I'm hoping you'll cut me slack if I leave my options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might have time to do all those things. And then the bell rang and we all went to lunch. And as I was sipping my pineapple punch, I pondered professions that I'd like to enter, like brave firefighter or crazy inventor. Or maybe just, just maybe now when I grow up, I can be a great teacher like dear Mrs. Krupp. <laughs> And it says, Teacher Billy for Mrs. Crop. Love, Billy. So I really like that story. And this is Weird Al, or Weird, or sorry, Al Yankovic. But um, I hope you guys liked that one. I loved that. And it's so true. You don't have to choose one thing. But I'd love to hear some of your guys' ideas of what you want to be when you grow up. So I'm excited to read about that and talk about it, too. See you guys soon.